This is question three. Here we're told that Alex and Ben go to a cafe with some friends, that Alex buys four cups of coffee and three cups of tea, and it costs him £6.95. We're then told that Ben buys five cups of coffee and two cups of tea, and it costs him £7.20. We're asked to work out the cost of each cup of coffee and the cost of each cup of tea. So what we are needing to do here is work out two unknown quantities. Now when this happens, when we are trying to work out two unknown quantities, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up simultaneous equations. And we can do that by using the two pieces of information that I've been given at the start. So what I can say is that 4C plus 3T, okay, so four cups of coffee, four lots of C, and three cups of tea, three lots of two, uh, sorry, three lots of tea, that that is equal to £6.95 in total. So doing exactly the same with this second piece of information, 5C plus 2T will be equal to £7.20. So now I've got my simultaneous equations. And the way that I'm going to solve this is I'm going to use the elimination method. And I'm going to eliminate one of my unknown quantities, so either coffees or teas. Now, in order to do that, I need the coefficients to have the same value. So I either need to have, uh, so what I mean by the coefficient to have in the same value, I need to have the same numbers in front of each letter. So I would need, say, 7C and 7C, for example. At the moment, I haven't got that. So the coefficients are not the same for C and they're not the same for T either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the equation slightly by multiplying them. And I'm going, if I multiply this top equation by 2, so multiplying the top one by 2 and the bottom one by 3, what that gives me is it will give me 8c, so 4c times 2, plus 3t times 2, so 6t, and that will be equal to uh, £13.90. <clears throat> then, if I do the same with 5c plus 2t equals £7.20, that's going to give me 15c plus 6t. So what you can see is that I've now got 6t and 6t. I've made the coefficients the same. And then well, we'll take a look at what we can do next in this moment. And that will be equal to, so £7.20 times 3, uh, that will be £21.60. Okay. <clears throat> now that I've got the coefficients the same, so 6t and 6t, what I can now do is I can eliminate them by subtracting the two equations. So that leaves me with 8c minus 15c for negative 7c. 6t minus 6t, that will cancel each other out. So I'm left with negative 7c is equal to £13.90 minus £21.60 for minus £7.70. So just taking away those two. So now I've got negative 7c equals negative £7.70. I've now got a simple equation which I can solve. So I can now say that c will be equal to negative £7.70 divided by negative 7. That's going to give me positive £1.10. Remember that this is just money. So I can now say that the price of a coffee is £1.10. Now I'm going to use that information, now that I know the cost of one of my unknown quantities, the cost of a cup, the cost of a coffee is £1.10, so the cost of my coffee was £1.10, let's just rewrite it up here. Because I now know that, I can now just use this information that I was given at the beginning to work out what the cost of a cup of tea will be. So, what I can now say is that, well, four cups of coffee, if one cup is £1.10, 
four cups of coffee will be £4.40 plus three cups of tea, so plus three cups of tea, and I know that that costs £6.95. So now I've again got a very simple equation which I can solve. So subtracting the £4.40 from both sides, that leaves me with the three cups of tea must have cost £6.95 minus £4.40, which leaves me with £2.55. So three cups of tea cost £2.55, which means that one cup of tea, so dividing by three, uh, that's going to give me... Um, that's going to give me uh, 85p. I think is that. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, that means that a cup of coffee is 85p. So two pounds 55 divided by three. So my final answers here: a cup of coffee was one pound ten, and a cup of tea was 85p. One thing that you can do just at the end to check if your answers were correct is to use the other piece of information that you were given. Ben buys five cups of coffee and two cups of tea and just substitute these values into uh, this equation. Do five cups of coffee and two cups of tea cost £7.20? If they do, then we know that we've got the answer correct.